After those stormy winds, homeowners across the big country now assessing the damages. And many roofers in Abilene busy today making their way to homes to give estimates to residents. While getting the storm damage repaired is important, it's also smart to protect yourself from scammers looking to take advantage of the storm. Here's KRBC's Catherine Garcia. As the springtime weather blows in, wind and water damage can become a burden for property owners. <laughs> but there's another looming threat, contract fraud says Matt Smith of Fat Matt Roofing. There's scam artists that come in, take people's money and disappear or put on a roof and then the next rainstorm it's leaking and the, the roofing company says, oh, we're no longer doing business in that market. Leaving property owners in the dust. It's pretty embarrassing because they have, here they are, they're in this situation of, I, I should have known better and yet I had them take me for six, seven, ten thousand dollars. Currently, a bill sits in the Texas House of Representatives that, if enacted, would criminalize contracting roof repair without a proper license, requiring each company to formally register. Where you can go and see if that roofer who's come to your house is, in fact, registered to be able to do business in the state of Texas. You have a phone number to go and call them in case there's a problem, and you can go and get a list if they've ever had sanctions or penalties. A common issue during natural disasters, FEMA even gives tips avoiding contractor fraud, advising to never pay in advance, never wire or pay with reloadable debit or gift cards, and be sure to get the agreement in writing. State Representative Stan Lambert also advising the public, saying in part, quote, as constituents begin hiring contractors to conduct repairs after the recent storms, please look for established, reputable companies. In Abilene, Captain Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.